Hi, I'm Carla Buderak and welcome to Behavior Communicates. Are you in a school that struggles with a population of students who have social emotional issues? Or are you a small business owner who, who works with children who come from trauma, neglect, or abusive situations? If so, you know how important it is to understand exactly what you're dealing with. I want to share with you today a tool that can be used to assess the social emotional competencies of children. It's also a tool that will allow a school to plan for placement of students in classrooms, indicate which interventions that will shore up these social emotional deficits, and progress monitoring on how successful the interventions are. This tool is called the DESA, which stands for the Devereux Student Strengths Assessment. The DESA was designed for the K-8 student population. There are four equivalent mini assessments that co consist of only eight questions that the assessor answers after knowing a student for at least four weeks. Questions like, does the student do something nice for someone? Does the student contribute to a group? Does the student accept responsibility for their actions? The person scoring selects from the options that range from never to very frequently. If the student falls within a zone of concern, then the teacher or staff and parents can get a more comprehensive picture of the student by filling out the full DESA that is 72 questions. So what's the value of this? For one, think about how important this could be for administrators as they make class lists. We try to place students in classrooms based on balancing academic levels, so why not keep that social-emotional piece in the mix as well? It would be important for a teacher to know that a student who struggles with many social emotional issues yet rates high, for example, in leadership skills. Those are the skills that the teacher would want to use as the starting point as he or she designs interventions to address the student's deficits. We always begin with a strength to build other strengths. Teachers could feel more at ease knowing that they would have a better balance of students who have social emotional needs rather than have a classroom so overloaded with students with high social and emotional needs. Agree? I wanted to share this information with you now because you would have the summer to start some discussions with your teams and your administration about how this tool could benefit you, your students, and your school. The cost is reasonable and I will share that, the specifics in my blog. Wouldn't it be amazing for you not only to identify where each of your students are in the area of social emotional skills, but also to know how to address those deficits and then to monitor their progress just like you would do for academic skills. I'll never forget what a local businessman recently said to me. He said it's not so much what a potential employee knows when we interview them for a job. We can train people to do what we need them to do. It's how they get along with others and if they conduct themselves in a professional manner that gets them hired and keeps them in the position. Thank you so much for joining me here at Behavior Communicates. Just remember, the more we know about how to help the child or the student we love, the better quality life they will have. If you like this video and you want to be in the know, sign up for Behavior Communicates. You'll automatically get my weekly video and blog, plus some other resources that I only share with my subscribers. Please like this video, leave a comment below, and share it with all of your parents, your teachers, your friends, and your coworkers on Facebook, Twitter, and all your other social media. You take care, and I'll see you next time.